Hello and welcome to Sparky's Family on Facebook. I'm Jason Zykowitz from University Housing at Arizona State University. And we're taking over today's live stream family chat. University Housing is in the house. With the spring semester winding down, it's a great time to discuss the topic of campus move out and the transition to summer housing. And that's why we're brought to, uh, that's why we're joined today with Amanda Bayham and Braulio Sider. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your Sundable story? Uh, spark us off. I am a lead customer service representative with University Housing. I am graduating in May with my bachelor's in urban planning and continuing on in the fall to get my master's as well. I'm also a lead customer service representative here at University Housing. I'm a digital culture major with a concentration in music. I'm an international student and I graduate May of 2018. So as a customer service representative, what are your job responsibilities? So a couple of the responsibilities that we have here as CSRs for University Housing um, is answering any questions that parents or students might have. That could be financial questions or just what hotel to stay in when you're visiting your student. Um, so yeah, we're here to help. I'm also on the occupancy side as well. So anytime you have questions about where you'll be living for the summer or financial account information, we're there too. Wow, we appreciate that you work very hard to help your fellow Sun Devils. Um, is there a question that you hear a lot of and how would you answer it? Yeah, so surprisingly, one of the questions that we get uh, that are most popular is that um, are, are our meal plans available over the summer? And so the answer to that question is no, not necessarily. Our dining halls do close during the summer term, but if you have any leftover maroon and gold dollars, you can use those at the pod or any third party vendors that we have on our campus. Um, Until yeah. August. Until August. In August, start. it'll disappear. When does uh, campus housing close for the spring? And what do students need to move out? Our campus housing official closing is May, this, this next coming weekend after finals, so May 6th. Uh, we ask that students are move out 24 hours after their last final. If you have any issues with that date, that time frame, please contact your community assistant or your community director or mentor to set up a checkout time that may be specific for you. Now for the housing move out process, can you walk me through the move out? Yeah, so just like Amanda said, what's really important is to consult your community assistant. They'll be able to take a look at what your circumstances are and determine what your best checkout process will look like. They will schedule a walkthrough to assess for damages, um, and they will have you turn in your mail key and your room key, so please make sure to do that to avoid any charges. Now, as you know, as, as you students, this time of year is very stressful, so what can you uh, tell our, our students out there that can be able to help them uh, relieve any stress that they're having with the move out process. Absolutely. I think the number one key is planning. So plan with your community assistant again, plan with your parents or if you're moving out on your own just make sure you know the times that are going to be available for a move out and where to park, when to get those red bins that you can check out at the front desk, as well as cleaning before uh, move out as well. Yeah, definitely. Another tip that I would suggest is to start packing early. Um, I think it's really important that on the day that you move out, you're not starting to pack and you're not getting everything done on that one day because that's going to make things a lot, of, uh, a lot more stressful. Now, uh, cleaning is an important factor, so is there any help for students for cleaning? Yeah, definitely. We actually have a cleaning service that is provided through University and Student Services. Uh, their website is universityandstudentservices.com. Um, they provide services such as water delivery, laundry service, etc. but they do have the $60 cleaning service um, for end of the year term. Just keep in mind that this service is not available at Barrett, Casa de Oro, Vista del Sol, or the Villas. Now, during cleaning, you're <coughs> making sure the, the room's all clean just as you found it, and you may find things that you may not need. Uh, moving to your next home. So is there a good way for students to donate items? Yeah, definitely. We have the Ditch the Dumpster program here at ASU. You can visit ditch the dumpster at or dot ASU dot edu for more information on that. But essentially from April 24th through May 12th, you will see bins outside of the residence halls in, in which you can recycle or donate your items that you no longer want and instead of throwing them away. So that was ditch the dumpster dot ASU dot edu. One word? One word. One word, because it's one world. So what if a student plans to stay on campus during the summer? 
when is the deadline to apply and how does the transition work? Okay, so the deadline to apply for summer housing is May 1st. We will go ahead and send you to a summer booking. Um, and if you have preferences, you can list that on your application. However, if you have any issues after your booking is made, you can go ahead and contact us. Uh, the transition weekend will be May 13th and 14th for most students. So you will be moving into your new summer booking on May 13th and hopefully checking out on the 14th. If you are in Vista del Sol or Villas at Vista, that transition is the next weekend, May 20th and 21st. It's the same sort of thing. You'll go ahead and go down to your uh, the Vista del Sol front desk and contact your community assistant as well to make sure you know when your check-in and check-out dates are. But you'll check out into your new space on May 20th, hopefully, and then check out of your uh, spring booking on May 21st. All right, thank you. That about wraps up, wraps up today's live family chat. And uh, thank you, Amanda and Braulio, for joining us. Thank you, Jason. If, if you have any questions, feel free to post them here on Facebook. Or how else can they uh, get questions uh, answered about university housing? You can email us at housing at asu.edu. Or call 480-965-3515. Quite the team. All right. Thank you, team. Go Devils. Go, Go Devils. Devils. Woo! Bye.